pleurisy pleurisy is the inflammation of the pleura so then what is pleuritis it is just another name for pleurisy so basically pleurisy and pleuritis are both same now the pleura that we are talking about is the layer that covers our lungs it consists of two parts that is the visceral pleura attached directly to the lungs and the parietal pleura attached to the ribs this layer gets inflamed due to infection autoimmune reaction or as a complication of a respiratory tract disorder both these layers are separated and lubricated by the presence of a small amount of pleural fluid which acts like a cushion to the lungs but when both of these layers inflames the fluid cannot fully lubricate them and the rubbing of both of this layer especially during breathing in causes sharp stabbing pain this pain is also termed as pleuritic pain this disorder is not harmful but it is painful pleurisy can be caused by a lot of factors below are few listed one infection any bacterial or viral infection can cause pleurisy lung cancer injury to the ribs and thoracic cavity pulmonary embolism a condition in which a clot forms inside the pulmonary arteries sickle cell anemia can also cause pleurisy due to the ease with which it can form a clot thoracic surgery chemotherapy and radiotherapy immunocompromised state especially in hiv and aids and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid diseases pleurisy may happen to anybody but usually people about the age of 65 people with autoimmune diseases or lung cancer are more prone to get affected by it coming on to the symptoms the main symptoms of pleurisy remains pain this pain is sharp and stabbing that occurs on inhalation other than that you may find breathlessness and coughing up of blood in the patient it may be accompanied by fever and extreme fatigue for diagnosing the disease as well as the underlying cause a simple chest x ray ct scan or ultrasound might be done blood test may be done to identify infective or autoimmune causes cardiac causes of chest pain are also ruled out once the disease and the cause is identified the main purpose of the treatment remains the treatment of the underlying cause and treating the pain for pain non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs or corticosteroids are prescribed which helps in reducing the inflammation and thus decreasing the friction between the two pleura in case of infections they are to be treated with appropriate antibiotics this helps to resolve the inflammation of the pleura autoimmune diseases and cancer patients are started with pain interventions first as it takes time for completion of the treatment of these disorders in case of pleural effusion the patient may either have a chest tube in place to drain the fluid or a thoracosynthesis is done to remove the fluid so this is all in pleurisy hope you understood the topic please remember that pleurisy and pleuritis is one and the same and that its main symptom is pain if you have any query regarding this disease or any other disease please do leave a comment in the comment section do support our channel by subscribing and stay tuned to layman's medicine see you soon